Xbox. Silence in the court! Today, like every Thursday, we're here to judge John McGuilty. Well, Mr. McGuilty, according to the charges listed here, you are accused of the heinous crime of identity theft. The charges are completely unfounded. Hmm, goodness. I find your argument extremely persuasive. In that case, my duty is to let you go free. You've made the right decision, your judgeship. Hold it there, McGuilty. Are you stealing my identity in my own court? Um, no, absolutely not, your honor. The prosecution may proceed to cross-examine the defendant. Mr. Milkilty, is it not the case that you snuck into the home of the Countess of Fondamore by impersonating her husband with the malicious intent of spending a pleasant evening with her ladyship and the children? No, that's not true at all. Mm, goodness, I have to admit that Mr. McGuilty has a very solid alibi. Don't be fooled by his sophisticated tricks, Your Honor. McGuilty is a fraud and an imposter. You're not going to pay attention to the attorney, are you, Your Honor? Mm, that mustache, that huge Adam's apple. That deep, masculine voice. Mama? My boy. Mommy loves you, baby. But Mama, how can this be possible after you abandoned me? They told me you died years ago. Hey, well, the doctors messed up. Turns out I wasn't dead after all. But we donated all your internal organs. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting my pancreas back without I'm having trouble, um, doing whatever a pancreas does. Uh, what in tarnation, McGuilty? You almost managed to fool me again. I'm ready to give my verdict. Bring on the Wheel of Fortune! And the verdict is... <laughs> He's guilty. Damn and blasted, McGuilty. It's impossible to tell which one is the real hostess. There's only one way to find out for sure. I want you both to lower your bikini bottoms. Heavens. Never imagined that they would both be fully equipped. This court is adjourned until further notice. <laughs> <laughs>